What's up everybody? It's your boy Meme here. I don't know if you saw this yesterday, but check that out. My grandma made me a blanket. Thanks, grandma. She lives in Las Vegas. She sent it all the way over. She also made this pillow with it. But uh, you know, she lives with dogs. Uh she used to live with like the 16-year-old dog who recently died. His name was Mac. Very nice dog. However, uh so we okay, here's the thing. It came home and I put it on my blanket and I was, you know, snuggling up, uh, and I realized, oh, this might not be washed. Uh because, you know, it's her blanket, right? But also, it might have dog hair on it. Uh, so, uh, I, I washed it, but you can't wash this. So my plan, you know when, my plan is to just have this pillow sitting around for a minute, uh, just on top of my air conditioner here, which I haven't used in a long time since the last heat wave. Um, and I'm gonna kind of wait until I think the dog hair is off of it, or I forgot why I put it on top there. Which now that it's a mortalizing video, I'll probably never forget, never forget. The pillow, right? Um, for dessert, well, okay. For breakfast, I had a cheese bagel with onion and a chive cream cheese. Cheese bagel, that's crazy. Uh, and a coffee. We didn't have any hot. Oh, sorry, sorry, my nose um, tickled really quickly. Must be a nose hair or something. Um, oh wow, I'm sorry. This is, I am just everywhere at this episode. Uh, but, there's a very pretty cloud formation. This will be the thumbnail for the video today. Just want to get the other houses in there. There you go. Um, anyways, so yeah, for breakfast I had that. For lunch I had my mom's pizza that was for dinner last night, which was very tasty. I watched Astra's history while that was happening. He was ranking everything. It was a very good episode. Very good stream. Uh, and for dinner, we had stew with homemade bread. Homemade bread was phenomenal. The thing I love about this crust is that it's almost like chips. It's like, it's it's very, very, very nice. Check this out. I'm having this for dessert. It's a pumpkin spice donut. Uh, that's a lot of fun. You know, pumpkin spice is fun, you know? Uh, if you look a few episodes back, uh, probably one of the last few... Sorry about that. Well, probably one of the last few days of summer. Uh, I was actually having a pumpkin spice latte in one of these videos. And uh, to be fair, um, it was good. It was a good latte. I get why I get the meme, right? But, uh, you know, I don't get the pumpkin spice meme, you know? I love me some chocolate donuts. I love me some powdered donuts. I love me this donut. But it's not like, oh boy, I wish something tasted like pumpkin spice. Like how you do with chocolate or vanilla. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Um, also, here's something nice. Lately, I've been reading this Korean webcomic translated into English. Very good webcomic. Uh, and the thing that this made me realize is how tiny my life is. I, have a, I, have, I live a tiny little life and I record this tiny little video series in my tiny little room. And I go to, I actually go to a really big school. I go to, you know, a relatively to the rest of the world, tiny little school. And uh, you know, I eat tiny little food. And uh, I'm very, very, very happy about this. I'm very happy that my life isn't some crazy thing that would be like a story arc in like a movie, you know? I, I'm, I'm very happy that my life is so simple and that I can just know what I'm doing all day. And then that's it, and then that thing changes. It's awesome, it's great. And uh, you know, it's made me realize, you know, whenever I'm having a problem, uh, which has been lately, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I've just been ranting to some buddies. Uh, I've realized I've been blowing everything out of proportion. I feel like it's the end of the world whenever I feel any bad emotions, right? But I've realized, oh, relative to the rest of the world, uh, I, I live a tiny little life and this doesn't matter. Uh, so, you know, I hope. Uh, that's like the cheat code to not thinking about things. And it's just like, oh, I, I have a problem? Well, everybody else's problem, so. I don't know. I've heard it's like a meme to answer that. Like, like, a, like a bad answer. Right, that like parents give, right? But uh, maybe if I give that to myself, maybe that'll help. Um, also, uh, last night I was talking with my buddy about NFTs. Um, now, I dislike NFTs. Uh, I don't have a vehement uh, hatred for them, like a lot of people do, but uh, you know, I don't get the point. Uh, however, um, I was talking with my buddy about them, and I realized something. Um, I have a feeling that if NFTs weren't so bad for the environment, which seems to be the main theme against them, right? I feel like people would still dislike them. 
because here's my thought process, right? Uh, this is the only example I can think of. If you look at FaZe Banks' Twitter, uh, you can see that he has this kind of ugly, uh, I think it's called a CryptoPunk NFT. Um, that's his profile picture. And of course, I don't think anybody's buying NFTs thinking they want to own this image, like it's art. Nobody's saying that. So the meme where it's like, oh, you bought an NFT, look, I just took a screenshot. Like that's stupid, right? I don't think that's the point of buying an NFT. The point of buying an NFT is to associate yourself with a level of wealth, right? And you're, you're making a brand for yourself that you have so much money that you can throw it away to all these useless things, right? I don't think FaZe Banks liked how that image looked, and so he bought it and he made it his profile picture, and that's all he thought. No, he was thinking, oh, if I make this my profile picture, it'll associate FaZe with a level of absurd wealth. And if you join FaZe and join my, I don't think it's an MZN anymore, I don't even know what it is. If you join my hype house, uh, you'll become this rich. And that's what it signifies. And uh, it's the same example as like, uh, a lot of people, in like the CSGO trading scene and knife scene have really crazy expensive like skins that are like I'm in the scene of skins, you know. Uh, they got some crazy 2013 like Catalyze uh, stickers or something that are like $600 each and this very famous op skin and it's very obvious they, they know what the memes are, right, the, the meme skins. And it's not because they look cool, which admittedly they do, that's why they're so expensive. But it's not only because they look cool, but also because they want to say, hey, I'm part of the skin scene. Talk to me because I'm part of the skin scene and I can tell you about skins and I can give you skins and I can buy your skins. Like, the point isn't the object. The point is what it signifies. And uh, I think that's what a lot of people are missing, right? Now, don't get me wrong. I just like NFTs. I, I wouldn't mind them if they weren't so bad for the environment, but uh, right now they're just kind of dumb. Uh, and, you know, I wish, um, I wish people formed their arguments better. And I get that Twitter disincentivizes this, but, uh, you, you could fit what I said into 250 words. Like, you're, you're associating yourself with a brand, uh, and that's a point. But I don't think the point is just because you think the images look nice. I don't think anybody's doing that, except for, like, crazy people. Uh, alright, see you, dude.